this video we're going to see how to type a set of commands in a file that we will then hand over to LaTeX. LaTeX will then read and run those commands to create a document. We need somewhere to type our commands. We are going to be using Text Studio, and you'll see this is open. In fact, every one of the steps from typing the commands to handing it to LaTeX to viewing the final file can be done from within Text Studio. So it's somewhere to type and is a control center for what you're doing. But we need somewhere to type. At the moment there's lots of white space but nothing we can type on. So we'll go to File and New. That will create a file for us to start typing into. And we start typing at the flashing cursor. The first command we will always start with is the document class command and I have to start by typing backslash document class because all commands begin with a backslash in LaTeX. Notice there is a box underneath that pops up with some helpful suggestions as to what I might want to be typing. Now I've started with backslash do but I want document class and I'm going to type everything in without the help of that extra box there. This is one of the sort of helpful features that Tech Studio has that something like Notepad will not have. Now after I've typed the command document class, I need to specify which class I want LaTeX to use, and you will always be using the article class document. So you will always type article after you've typed document class. Notice you put that within a set of braces, that is squiggly brackets. So that's our first command completed. The next thing we're going to type is actually two commands, a begin document command and an end document command. And in between those two, we're going to type the whole contents of our document. So I'll press enter and backslash begin document. Document goes in braces. Now I'm going to press enter, and when I have pressed enter, uh, Tech Studio is going to do another helpful thing for me. It is going to automatically type the end document statement. Some other text editor like Notepad won't do that for you, you'd have to type it manually. But when I press enter, end document magically appears. And so I'm now ready to actually type the contents that I want to appear in my document. We'll just type a one sentence thing to begin with. And the sentence I'll type, or a couple of sentences I will type is, hello there. So I've typed all of my commands now and the content of my document. So I'm going to save what I've typed um, so that I can go back and look at my commands at a later date. So to save my command file I go to File and Save As. And then I'm going to save it in the document folder I've set up for myself. It's in my documents and I've created a tech demos folder to save all of my tech files in. I'll open that and now I have to give a name to this file. I'm going to call it first. So that has saved my command file, usually referred to as a tech file. And I'm now ready to hand this file over to LaTeX and let LaTeX do its work on this file. I can do that with one of two buttons. I can either click the LaTeX button or the one I'm going to click, which is the PDF LaTeX button. 
and click the PDF LaTeX button because that will create a PDF file. If I clicked this button, the LaTeX button, it would create a file in the format called DVI. This is an old obsolete format which we're not going to be using. So we click the PDF LaTeX button that passes these commands onto LaTeX and instructs LaTeX to execute them. So I've clicked the button and now I wait and the message underneath tells me that the process has exited normally. This means that LaTeX has done everything it needs to do and there is now a document waiting for me to look at. So I view that document by going to the um, button up here with the PDF uh, with the PDF logo on it. I click that and the document I want to see will pop up. And there's my first LaTeX document. If you don't like looking at your documents inside Tech Studio's viewer, you can look at it using the Adobe Reader by going to the folder where you saved the file. Notice now there isn't just the first .tech file, this is the file we saved from Tech Studio. It's also got all of these other files that LaTeX has created and one down at the bottom here which Tech Studio created. But in among these is the first PDF file, the thing we're really interested in. So if you wanted to look at your document in the PDF, the standard PDF viewer, the Acrobat Reader, you would double click here and Acrobat Reader comes up. And you can see the um, document.